Spoon does the talking. And when I say talking, I mean singing. Check out the work that I do for you. This is the dude coming through with the food review. Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. This is an amazing world, how things work out. So we're walking down the street and Callum and myself both busting for a piss, uh, put it bluntly. And we're going to a local gym. The guys recognize us and was like, oh, mate, you've got to try this place across the street. It's called Old Damascus Syrian Food. Now, Callum, this is absolutely amazing. We've had a sort of a Syrian style shawarma on the page once before when they cut it up like this into these nice little bite sized, toasted, sexy little chunks of delicious food. And I loved it. It was amazing. We've got pickles over here, fresh. Uh, fresh salad as well. These pickles are insane, really salty if I remember right. Let's go on, let's dive in. Yeah. Super salty. Totally different. That's really fucking totally. <laughs> Should not have had that by itself. I was like drinking a pint of seawater. <laughs> drink water, mate. Foss, drink water. Hold on. <laughs> Back in the game. How good is that, by the way? Absolute rocket fuel. Right, so that wasn't super salty. Um, Callum, just have a look. Just have a little spend a little moment taking us in. I mean, that looks absolutely beautiful. All of this, I just asked him how much it is. Eight quid. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all, mate. And then you've got your sort of house sauces here. Now let's, let's make some room. Let's clear some space. Some house sauces down the side there. Here's the garlic. This is the house. And they've got sweet chilli here as well. We feel like we've been on a little kind of foodie adventure this afternoon. It's been really, really cool. I've enjoyed it. And we kind of ended up here. Right, let's dive in and see what the flavour's all about. Let's have a bit of this chicken here, shall we start with? Let's start with. This is the famous Syrian shawarma. Totally different sauce it, spices. Very very good. Wow. The herbs and spices are stripped right back. You do not get any initial heat. It's just... And this is the... They said this to me, this is the Arabic style to cut it up like this, and I, I love it. Turns your kebab into a no mess, finger food, buffet. Wow. Good. Bravo. She's exceptional. Ooh. Absolutely. Like the toasted. So the young lad said, You've got to come here because you've seen the food is insane. This is one of these places, again, I'm not being rude. When you walk past on the street, kind of an old sign. Yeah, the sign's a bit... Yeah, yeah. The windows don't look particularly appealing. Dare I say, I'm not going to get on with the hope they can't hear me say this. Even when you come in, in this series doesn't look too flash. But luckily, the food does the talking. And when I say talking, I mean singing. <laughs> That's the real deal. Very, very different to your regular sort of haunts, shall we say, that have chili sauce. Probably good, Jess. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you said Jess. I did, yeah. Just Chip. as a home wrapping presents. <laughs> Chips are good. Crunchy. 
These chips remind me of Nando's chips. Yes. Do you know what I mean by that? They've got a very salt on them. Let me have a look. A little dusting. A little dusting in there. Looks good. It's a great chip. For me, this flavour is like, it's so stripped back that it's actually like, a little bit like having a roast roast chicken. It's like a bit of salt, pepper, simple spices, simple herbs that their only job is to amplify the original product, the chicken. When you cook it over in the shawarma, spin it around, it just sings. It absolutely sings. Right, I'll have one more bite. Both sauces on that. House sauce. I'm trying to try and move the score now. Hmm. Interesting. What are you thinking? <laughs> Thing. Drink watch too. <clears throat> it's our first ever double drink watch. Might well be. Everyone in these places, you know, kebab shops, always pushing on you the yogurt, the salty yogurt drink. Now, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think it's pretty gross. Um, but this is a new brand. And walked in, and I just saw no, they're not, I was just trying to mug it off from people. The fella here was having it himself. He works here on a lunch break. He had one drink, and he had that, with a load of meat and, meat and rice or whatever it was he was having. I've never actually had that. What, what kind of, it's it's, like yogurt is it? It's like a salty yogurt. Okay. It is a little bit uh, Ming Mong, but apparently with the food it works really well. But I can't get mid around it, I'm gonna try it again for the second time. <laughs> Can you see the can you see it inside that? It looks like milk. See that? Yeah, it does look like milk. Bottoms up. That was a lot better. Ooh, not nowhere near as salty. It's like a that was alright. <laughs> It's like a kind of semi-salty yoghurt. Whether or not it goes with that or not, I'm not quite sure. Weird one. We'll take it. <laughs> right, Callum. <laughs> now to give old Damascus here this Syrian shawarma a score out of 10. Very difficult. Wicked hosts, great fellas, tipped off by the guy in the gym across the road who obviously comes here for his lunch. Um, double drink watch. Great sauces. Super flavour. Good price. Historic flavours. As Callum writes this on the camera, great price. All this for eight quid. Yeah, Are you joking? Loads on here. I'm going to that an 8.5. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's something very delicious about that Syrian inspired chicken. We really have got some great flavors in and around this world. And it'll certainly be our pleasure trying to document them as we go. Thanks for watching everyone. Been knocking on the door of Christmas now. From us to you, Merry Christmas. We're licking your lips, checking the dips We're checking out the best of the bunch So you can get your best breakfast, dinner or lunch It's Matt D and Jess coming with a food review We've been travelling, trying to find the best foods for you Yeah, now that's a review